tēnā koutou katoa, nā te tū wharetoa. At this present time, we are again being challenged by the spread of COVID-19. And we now need to think about what is important for us. You will be aware that we in Ngāti Tū Wharetoa, through our own local health advisory services, through marae channels, and through our iwi organisation units, have been encouraging whānau and hapu to get vaccinated. And like you, I too have been following information about getting vaccinated and talked with practitioners and in discussion with my own whānau, hapu and wider iwi members, I found I was not wanting to be personally responsible for contracting and then spreading the virus to others, particularly my mokopuna. So for that reason, I decided to be vaccinated. Within our whānau, hapu and at our marae, we must plan for the seriousness of what is ahead. And that is why we will call our hapu together to hui by Zoom. The enemy that is COVID that we now face is not political, it is not cultural, it is not generational, nor is it selective but it can be devastating. Through my reading, I was reminded of the dark days of a similar pandemic, the Spanish influenza of 100 years ago. And unfortunately, there were no vaccinations available at the time, and many, many tupuna were lost. I asked myself the harrowing question, what if a vaccination was available? To you all who are vaccinated, I thank you. Our continued focus is to care for our whanau, hapu and our ngāti tūwharato iwi. To those who have yet to be vaccinated, I urge you to talk with your whanau and your trusted health practitioners and this will ensure the strong whakapapa, whānau, hapu and iwi ties we all have will continue. If we do nothing, we could almost certainly suffer. If we do nothing, any loss of life will affect our whakapapa. If we do nothing, we need to ask ourselves what are we leaving for our mokopuna? Kia kaha ngāti tū wharetoa.